For more concussions, let's turn to Dr. Carolyn Brockington. She's a neurologist at St. Luke's Roosevelt Hospital here in New York City. Dr. Brockington, thanks for coming in. Thanks for we having me. We appreciate it. Yes. What a remarkable story we just saw there, Incredible. you know, about, about Zach. Now, are injuries like his fairly common in kids? Well, his was very severe. Uh -huh. And so uh, there's a variety of different concussions depending on the type of injury, the trauma, the force, et cetera. But what's important to understand is what is a concussion, right? A concussion really is a trauma to the brain. And the reason why is the brain is not attached to the skull. Mm -hmm. So when the brain gets hit or the head gets hit really hard, the brain sort of bounces against the skull. And that's what produces the injury and subsequently the symptoms that you may see. Let me ask you about this. A lot of parents are going to see their kids out playing mm -hmm. this summer, or summer season. The football season for kids starts in just a couple months, not too far away. What should parents do? How should they be concerned about what their kids are doing out there? Well, it's very important if your child gets hit in the head that it has to be taken seriously, right? Mm -hmm. Any brain injury is a serious brain injury. So it's really important to look for signs and symptoms that might suggest that someone's had a concussion. Let's talk about those signs mm -hmm. and symptoms. A lot of kids will complain of headaches. That's one of the symptoms? Yeah, headache is a serious symptom. Uh -huh. um, and particularly, it might lag behind. So, you know, what's interesting is that you get a head injury, you don't necessarily get the symptoms right away. You hit your hand, you know that it's injured, but the bruise develops later. The same thing with concussions. You may lag behind. So if a headache yeah. develops, particularly if it gets serious over time or more severe, the, the kid starts to complain more. That's something that needs to be taken seriously and a doctor needs to take a look at that. Can, can balance become a problem Certainly. as well? Any incoordination, problems with walking, problems with speech where you might have slurred speech, all of those things are important because it shows that the brain has had some injury that requires some treatment. This one surprised me. I read reading in the notes that temperament can somehow, oh. some, sometimes give you an idea of the extent of a brain injury. How so? And that's because it can be very subtle. So it's really just a change in behavior. You know, if your kid's very outgoing and suddenly becomes very quiet, less interactive, that might be a sign of a concussion. So someone needs to be alerted to that and uh, take them to the doctor and have a full evaluation. If, if these symptoms don't pop up right away, I mean, how, how long should a parent wait? If a parent knows, knows that his or her child was hit in the head, how long should you wait before you say, well, this must be something else? Well, it's difficult to say exactly, but certainly the first 24 hours, the kid should be watched very closely to determine whether any signs or symptoms develop. And if they were hit very hard, just to have the doctor evaluate them anyway in order to make sure that things are okay. okay. But it's important to really look for the signs and symptoms of a head injury. I understand. Now, let's say a kid suffers a concussion, mm -hmm. comes back from it. Is that kid more likely for re-injury? Another concussion? Well, because they already had one? The thing is, whatever caused the concussion to begin with, if they go and play again in the same way, they might have an injury. And what's the concern is that if you keep having the injury to the brain over and over again, you not might have symptoms at that time, but then later on in life. So it needs to be taken seriously. You need to take the appropriate precautions. And if you get a head injury, to be mm. evaluated by a doctor. Mm. Thank you so much, Dr. Carolyn Brock. I appreciate you. it. Really good advice this morning. For more signs of the serious brain injuries, you can go to our partner in health, webmd.com, and search concussion.